job. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to what my 10 month old eats in a day. If you're new here, I do one of these videos with baby led weaning meal ideas every single month. So make sure that you're subscribed if you want a lot more ideas for what you can feed your little bean. Today, we are specifically focusing on easy baby led weaning meal ideas. So these are things that you can keep in your fridge for a longer period of time or that come together really quickly. This is his new thing. He just holds one arm out like a Shakespearean actor. Alas, poor York. Yeah. <laughs> Um, like I was saying, if baby doesn't want to be put down and you only have one hand or you are just completely out of energy, I feel you. Um, <laughs> these are really easy ideas that are still going to nourish your baby and be good nutrition. Obviously, I'm not a doctor or a dietitian, but I'm going off of my pediatrician's um, guidelines. Rowan already had his first nursing session of the day. Ever since we moved into the new house, Matt has been bringing him into the bed um, after he changes his diaper and putting him down on the other side of the bed <coughs> and he crawls to me and like pats me to wake me up, but it's really cute. Um, so I nursed him in the bed this morning um, at about seven and now it's just after eight i'm going to start making his breakfast you're gonna have one of your favorites for breakfast huh god it's cheese okay he's ready to go let's do it so i'm starting out with a base of some cottage cheese um cottage cheese is a really good source of both protein and fats especially if you're trying to uh, help your baby gain a little bit of weight this is a good one something that our pediatrician recommended we got rolling with me here so i'm trying to do this with one hand he really likes cottage cheese, so I give him a lot. It also gets very messy, so he won't actually eat all of that. Another thing that I like to keep on hand is a jar of peach halves from Trader Joe's. I get these ones specifically because they're in white grape juice rather than syrup. Um, so that's a tip if you are doing canned fruit for your kiddo. You want to make sure it's not in syrup because that's too much sugar. Um, but this is particularly useful for days like today. It's a Wednesday and we always get our imperfect foods delivery on Thursday. So we're running a little bit low on fresh produce. So I'm going to give him half of a peach and also part of a banana. It's from Etsy. I'll make sure it's linked below because it really helps him drink a lot more water. And here's our plates. We've got peaches, bananas, and cottage cheese, fat, protein, fruits. We'll make sure we go heavy on the vegetables for lunch. Now, in true baby led weaning fashion, I am giving him a spoon to feed himself. Actually, I should definitely take this away before I buckle him in. I know, I know. Um, but this will get very messy and I may have to help him a little bit, so... Oh my purists out there. Sometimes I do intervene a little bit just to make sure he's actually getting food. Yeah, I know, not just spilling it all over the floor. Which is fine too. We gotta make sure you get something in you. Oh, hang on, I have to pop you in so you don't wiggle warm out. Say our prayers. Dear God, thank you for this beautiful day and thank you for our family and thank you for this food. Amen. There you go. Get a little bit on there for you to start. Good job, kiddo. Just right with the hands. It's okay, we're still learning with the spoon, huh? Working on right now is chewing. 
because he likes to just shove a bunch in his mouth um and so i saw i think it was like an instagram reel where you take a piece of food and you keep it in your hand and you bite it really dramatically and you show them you still have some in your hand and then as you're chewing you chew with your mouth open and you go to help them get the message um so when we eat together which we do for lunch and dinner i usually don't have time to make myself breakfast until after he goes down for his nap. Um, that's something that I do to help encourage him to actually chew. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I'm mm -hmm. done. Yeah, let me help you get a little bit more on here. Okay, <laughs> a little bit messy. You can also spoon feed them the cottage cheese if that's easier for you. Um, but since this is baby led weaning, I thought I'd let him have a crack at it. <laughs> um, can I help you? And then look, I'll hand you the spoon. There you go. Good job! Yay! Another thing that I've learned recently when I'm giving him water in his cup is to wait until he's done with his food um, because sometimes he stores food in his cheeks like a chipmunk when he's eating and then he will drink the water and it will become dislodged and make him like gag or cough um, and it can be a choking hazard so I wait until the end to give him his water and I don't pull the cup away from him so sometimes he takes like big gulps for a really long time and I feel like ah he's gonna like get it down the wrong pipe but if I take it away from him um, to give him a break to breathe he's actually more likely to get it down the wrong pipe so I just let him drink as much as he wants to and you know it always ends up all over the high chair but that's okay Well, just a little bit that time. Just spit it right out. You are very messy, sir. It's your spoon a distraction. You wanna play with your food a little bit first? I'll put your dish away. We like to get messy, huh, Rowan? Okay, good playtime, Bubba. Let's get this cleaned up so we can have some water. May I have this, please? Thank you. Oh, I'm not so sure now. I have it. Thank you. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're all cheesy. Yeah. Okay, let's try some water. He always drinks less water in the morning and more at his other two meals. Here you go. That one didn't come back out. That was okay. Good job. Okay, Bubba. So we didn't quite make it to 10. It's actually 9.30 and he's feeling very tired. Um, often his morning wake window is shorter. So I'm gonna nurse him and put him down for a nap. So at Rowan's age, it's pretty typical for a baby to nurse four to five times a day. We do five just because Rowan is on the smaller side. And so trying to make sure he gets plenty of calories. Um, because he's so active and like exceeded so many of his physical milestones, he's a really like fast metabolism is what our doctor said. So I feed him at 7, 10, 1, 4, and 7-ish <laughs> within like a half an hour of those times. He's also been very squirrely recently while nursing. It's all right. Now, while Rowan is napping, I'm gonna do a little bit of food prep for the rest of the day. So one super pro tip that I have for baby led weaning is to get or make a whole chicken. Um, it's healthier to make it because like if you buy it from Costco or whatever, it's a lot of sodium. So just bear that in mind. Um, and then shred the entire thing up. Um, keep about a third of it out for meals that week and then freeze the rest of it in snack size Ziploc bags. So each one of these is two to three serving sizes for him and I just keep it in the freezer and that way <laughs> if we're like running low on groceries, I know that I have something that I can pull out for him. Chicken is obviously like a big choking hazard for babies, but shredded chicken is uh, much better and much easier. So that's something our pediatrician told us. So I'm just taking this out and putting it in the fridge so it can defrost before dinner tonight. <laughs> Mr. Baby Beans is up and Teddy's feeding him some of his cereal. It's kind of like having a puppy. <laughs> You're just trying to sit there and enjoy a meal. I don't think this is pediatrician approved. <laughs> is that yummy, Bubba? He's only had two or three pieces. We can't spoil your lunch. Yeah. This is oh. delicious, huh? Mm. Oh boy. <laughs> Want some coffee, Ron? No. No. No, Mr. Cheeks. No. You're going to spoil your lunch, mister. It's five squares of cereal. <laughs> he really likes it. 
All right, lunch time. We are going with some frozen carrots, um, which I'm just gonna do in a skillet. I always check the ingredients if I get frozen vegetables um, to make sure that it's like all stuff that I know and can pronounce. So orange carrots, yellow carrots, white carrots, purple carrots, olive oil, thyme, salt and pepper. So that's totally fine. And there's not that much salt. And then I'm also going to make him some tofu in a skillet. Sometimes he eats tofu, sometimes he doesn't, but I'm making some for me. So figured I'd give it a shot. But I'm also doing hummus on toast, so no matter what, he'll have enough food. Even just the hummus and the toast and the carrots would probably be fine. But we're gonna try some tofu to just kinda like get him used to it. Um, this is, again, Trader Joe's hummus. <laughs> like Trader Joe's, if you couldn't tell. Um, and I'm doing it on sourdough that I made, but store-bought bread is fine. <laughs> I just like to make sourdough, I think it's really fun. So yeah, I'm gonna prepare this for him. Should only be five minutes probably until all of this is ready. So, we love a cookies and meal. tofu in long strips so it's nice and easy for him to grab and I'm going to season it with a little bit of garlic. Now I'm just going to use my kitchen scissors to cut the bottom crust off of this because it's really hard. The rest of the crusts are fine but the bottom one is tough. And then I'm just gonna cut this into strips again, which should pretty much end up looking like this. And this is what our easy lunch is looking like. Obviously, if your kiddo has a soy allergy, <laughs> don't give them tofu, but lots of different flavors and textures here for him. We'll see if he eats the tofu. My bet is no. Mmm, Miss Carrots. You like carrots. And the one in the middle is hummus. You love hummus. You don't have any molars yet. You gotta use your front teeth. <laughs> yep, tofu came right back out. Dude, you're doing so good with your tofu. You've only got one piece left. Good job. I am surprised and impressed, my friend. This is the aftermath. He ate it all. Anybody else's baby a bottomless pit? Like Matt and I keep saying we're gonna try to find the bottom. And then he eats so much that we get nervous he's gonna puke, so we stop giving him stuff. <laughs> there's no more in there, Bubba. You love your food, don't you? Yeah. Oh, there's the hand again. I love you so much. I just want to eat you. <laughs> Let's clean you up. Third nursing session of the day it is about 1.15. We're almost getting a little fussy, so I knew it was time. Uh, this feeding is honestly a little bit close to lunch, so it's usually a smaller one, but it's still part of the routine, so we still keep it up. Okay, it's dinner time now. Our little bag of chicken is defrosted, so I'm gonna microwave that. Um, I microwave it instead of doing it in a pan because if I do it in a pan, it gets too crispy um, for him, which can be dangerous. Um, and then I'll show you the veggies that I'm gonna give him. I have these Brussels sprouts from Trader Joe's, and I like these because the only ingredient is Brussels sprouts. There's no seasoning, no butter, no sauce. They are just plain. And this is what they look like when they're all cooked. I made a double portion so that I have easy veggies again tomorrow. And then my in-laws showed us these which you can get at Costco, which are pre-cooked sticky rice. And Rowan's been really liking these, so I'm gonna heat up one of these as well. This is like ultimate lazy mom, but still want your kid to eat semi-good <laughs> dinner. I don't give him too much of this because it's obviously mostly empty carbs, but it's a fun texture for him to play with. And you know, they say food before one is just for fun, so he definitely has fun with that. Okay, so here's his dinner, and I'm noticing that there's no fat on this plate. And one thing our pediatrician always told us is to have protein and fat in every meal. So I'm actually gonna put a little bit of cream cheese on his uh, chicken, even though that's a little bit weird. <laughs> Ta-da! Let's just put a little bit of powdered cheese since you don't like Brussels sprouts that much. Dad, 
That's a big mouthful of rice, my dude. Small bite? I think that was a very big bite. Gosh, I'm glad I shredded up a little bit finer. For dessert, <laughs> puffies! You like these, huh? You have the strawberry apple puffs. He likes all the flavors. I never give him a full serving size, just, just a little bit. Get some practice with that pincer grasp, huh, buddy? Of course, right now he's just taking giant fistfuls of them. What's up? So that's gonna be it for what my 10 month old eats in a day. He will nurse one more time before he goes to bed, but that's all of his solid meals. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that it was helpful and gave you some nice, like easy meal ideas because next month we might do more like elaborate in-depth recipes again. But since we've been moving this month, we've been doing a lot of this, just like easy, quick, thrown together meals. Um, but I still feel like they're pretty decent for him and give him a good variety of textures and flavors. So I love you guys a lot. Oh, Rowan says it's time to go, <laughs> so I will see you guys in the next video. Rowan, can you say bye? Bye-bye. <laughs> Good job. <laughs>